It's really early, that's why I'm like, my voice is kind of like, <sighs> my voice is kind of just out of it because it's kind of early for me, but let's just get started anyway. So I'm going to start with brows. Brows, I'm using NYX Tame and Frame as usual and the shade Espresso. And an update on my brows, I've been putting Jamaican black castor oil on them. Um, to kind of help them grow, because I'm growing them out still. So I put, I've been putting Jamaican black castor oil on them. And then I tweezed like the, like I did my brows and then, um, I, I did them like in the shape that I want. And then I tweezed the hairs around them. So I could be growing them out, but not be looking like crazy at the same time. Yeah. So they look a little better, but no, I didn't get them done. Oh, an update on these brushes too. I've been loving them, the BH Cosmetics brushes. I love my little pink set, so I'm using the concealer brush out of the set, and it's a BH Cosmetics number eight brush. Concealer, just to clean up my brows. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade two, two tan, cool tan. Because I am struggling with using natural light. My other light is the um, just one of those LED lights you can get from Best Buy. But it takes the batteries and like it's always dying like midway through um, recording. So I'm like, dang, I need another battery. And I'm trying to find it has a it has like a a place where you can put the um, the cord, like the power cord, power cable. But I can't find that. I can't find the power cable anywhere, like to the exact light that I have. So I'm kind of a little bit screwed right now. So I've been trying to use natural light, but I would be trying to use natural, oh, I'm using natural light and that LED light still because, of course, today it would be cloudy like it wants to rain. So I couldn't just use the natural light on its own because the sun is like moving in and out. I'm using my primer that I use all the time. You guys know the drill. But if you're new, this is Milani uh, Prime Shield. It's like oil control. And it minimizes, well, it makes it look like your pores are minimized while you have it on. 
It doesn't like minimize it over time or anything, but yeah. This one I love because it makes it has a really smooth feel to it. It's kind of like it feels like the um, you know the feel of like baby the baby skin primer by Maybelline. And um, I'm using the powder next. I'm gonna put a foundation, my foundation routine in the cards just in case you're new and you don't know what I'm doing or why I'm doing this. I'm gonna put that up in the card so you can kind of know what's going on because my subscribers already know. I hate that, subscribers. I wanna call y'all something else. Like my homies or something, my friends. <laughs> My homies already know what's going on. Subscribers just sounds like, oh, my subscribers, man. Like, nah. Y'all be really having me laughing in my comments, so I feel like you're more like my homies, you feel me? We got foundation and as always my favorite Maybelline what is this Maybelline fit me matte and poreless in classic tan it's my all-time favorite like as of lately I took my third bottle I guess you could say it's my favorite I'm always changing up. I don't think I put enough on my hand. We'll see how it spreads out. Maybe so. Cause I don't put too much on my forehead anyway. I'm gonna go back in with cool tan and highlight and conceal. This look is like super simple. It's just a look. When I say a go-to look, it I mean like it's a look that if my husband's like, wanna go to the movies? Like let's go real quick. You know what I'm saying? Or like let's go. Like somebody calls you like last minute, and you, this is just a look that you pull for. You know it's gonna look bomb. Like you know how it's gonna come out. You do it all the time. It's like kind of like your signature look almost. So, that's what I mean by go-to. Like, I don't want to say like my, yeah, just my go-to, that makes sense. I mean, you don't really have to explain it like that. It's about to be flattened. Techniques, Miracle Blending Sponge. I think I got the name right this time. Concealed. 
now it's time to contour I'm gonna use another LA girl pro conceal and this one's in beautiful bronze My camera died while I was blending it all out, but you guys have seen me blend out my um, con my cream contour like a million times, so I'm just gonna um, go ahead and set it with my another BH product. This is like my favorite um, contour palette right now. Like, it's amazing. So I'm just gonna, actually I'm gonna sit under my eyes first. So I'm using the Airspun, Cody Airspun in Natural Neutral. Um, it says Naturally Neutral Setting Powder. So I'm gonna tap and make sure I don't have any creasing. Also bring it bring the powder up higher on the sides of my nose because it kind of helps to contour it that's like too much I look darling. <laughs> Pretty much set like my whole face with this. set it with powder you want to just tap over like don't add any extra powder but you want to just tap over the cream contour just so it can kind of set first before you um, do your powder contour so it won't be so blotchy you know so I'm gonna take another BH Cosmetics this is not sponsored by BH Cosmetics if you guys follow me on snapchat y'all know I bought all this stuff but this is the BH Cosmetics number three butt brush. I'm going to use it for the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro palette. So I'm gonna grab this one and this one. These two and mix them. One of them has like a more reddish tinge to it. It'll really bring color back to your face. And 
bring it down to my neck. the contour on my nose I use this I use the Kat Von D shade and light palette this has like the perfect shade for my nose this um this shade subconscious right here it's like I don't know it just works out so perfectly for me I tried using the like you know other ones in the BH cosmetics palette but this shade is just so I don't really want to use a warm shade on like my nose, it just makes it like super duper obvious. So I'm gonna go back and get the powder. Take it up on the side. And down the middle. So once that's all done, that was like, what, a minute or two? Cause I don't want to bake for too long. I'm gonna wipe away all of that bake. And then to add a tiny bit more color to my face, I'm going to use the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in the shade Golden Almond. It looks like this. I got it at Rite Aid. I've been liking it so far. It's a, like a nice light shade. I mean, no, a nice warm shade. And it's perfect when my translucent, translucent powder can have me looking a little ashy I like to go over it and put color back in my face not set with this because you can't really set with it you can only really set with translucent powder so once you set with that go back in with something else and bring the color I learned that from beat face honey mm -hmm. thank you girl so next we have this bun is flopping everywhere Next, we're on to liquid liner. Hopefully it comes out great. I always mess up on camera. And I haven't done my makeup in like a week, so. Jesus, help me. Okay, so I added my lashes off camera and these are the Venus Lashes by Divine Lash Co. The ones I use all the time, so I'll leave the description. I'm gonna leave everything in the description box, but yeah, these are bomb. And I want you guys to support this business. It's a black owned business and it's amazing, so yeah. This is Rimmel Scandalized Waterproof Cold Kajal Liner, liner in black. I like it. So now I'm gonna add mascara to my bottom lashes. CoverGirl Queen Collection False Lash Drama Mascara. Now I'm going to drench my face in my favorite setting spray. This is Makeup Revolution's Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. 
and it's like my all time favorite so cover the edges always. After that, I like to go in with my Anastasia Glow Kit and that glow. And today I'm going to take Dripping in Gold and Sunburst. So we got Dripping in Gold and Sunburst. I'm going to mix the two. And then just highlight blend. Not too much today. <laughs> Just a subtle one. It's like. Now taking only sunburst. sunburst up top is wet and wild's berry shimmer this is wet and wild wild's color icon collection it's like pretty old i think they got new packaging by now like they stepped it up but this blush is so pigmented that you don't need too much so i've had it for a while now Next, liquid suede. Yeah, next, next liquid suede cream lipstick and sandstorm. Use Maybelline New York's Shine Shot Prismatic Lip. Top coat. Hmm. And this one is in the shade, well, the color, not really a color. It's in number 02 and it has like, like glitters. Ew, look at the mascara. But, anyways, it has like glitters all through it. So, on top of nude lipstick, that it just looks so bomb. So. Oh, that was so cute, guys. My neighbor just knocked on the door and asked for sugar. Like, that never happens to me. I thought that was just so cute because, I mean, people don't even talk to each other anymore. Like, neighbors don't even talk to each other anymore. And she said it's her daughter's birthday and she doesn't have time to go to the store. And she's baking her cake and she needs a little bit of sugar. So I was like, <laughs> I have sugar. So, ooh. I feel like I want to change my shirt. How's this shirt? 